Hey guys, this is Mario Street 1989, aka Nintendo Girl for Life, and welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess Part 11, I think. Anyways, last time, once I find my stupid cursor, last time we, um, tried to find a way out of here. Last time we, um, got the iron boots, and I'm still trying to find a way out of here. What the hell? Where's the damn exit? Okay, there we go. So, yeah, we got that. We got another heart piece and start collecting the bugs, so um, I'll meet you back in the Kakariko. Alright guys, along the way here, there's a bug flying around here. Once I get these a-holes off my tail, if I can get it. Where did it flew to? I heard it. Oh wait, there it is. And we get another bug, which is a beetle. Alright. Alright, so, continuing. Alright guys, and here's another bug. Now I would like to get you out of my face. So if you use the gale boomerang... Hold on. If you use the gale boomerang, I'm trying to aim this thing properly. I think it's like right there somewhere. Oops. There it goes, it went flying. Where is it? I heard it. Here it is, it's flying away. And it's a male and a female version of those, but yeah, I'll meet you back there. I just wanted to show off those two bugs. Alright, guys, actually, there's another bug around here that we're gonna get quickly. So, if you come around here, because I really caught that, that other bug, and if you have my ice, if you have my washer, right, I just found it too, you know. Oh no, no, I didn't. I hear it, but here it is. So we have another set of bugs, and I'm actually going to show you the screen quickly. Wait. So far we caught like four of them. There's a total of 24 bugs, so yeah. Along the way we want to try to collect all of them, but in the meantime... Actually there's two in Kakariko we can also get, I mean, if we might just get because we're right there near Kakariko, so let's go back in. Oh wait, fudge, I just remembered, it's going to be another long-winded thing we have to, oh boy, this part that's coming up, it should be fun. Kids are just minding their business, you know. I have no way, this a-hole. Yeah, seriously, this is, what's this dude's obsession with taking kids? So this one's gonna run, cause this one's a complete pussy, and this one's gonna come. Colin, I believe, he's gonna try to be brave and push her out the way. Now you think he would have ran the kid over? I'm glad, and I'm actually gonna show the kid get ran over as he pick him up, but you probably just grab him by his arm. You never know what really happens, I'm not gonna show it, because you know, Tino's not gruesome. So he's gonna put his thing down, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I like Barnes, he's so funny. And then here comes Link, it's like, I like how he immediately knew that something was wrong. Yeah, he's pissed. What's he grabbing, by his shirt or something? If you heard that, that's my washer. I'm actually recording in the basement. Anyway, so now that that's it, we have to go. Go save Colin again! That's always fun. Actually, jump this fence and now a fight. How we got him tied onto that very fast, I will never know. Oh, bitch, you better believe I'll bring it. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut that arm off and whip your ass with this sword, even though when I hit you with the sword, you don't die immediately. But, who's arguing, I guess? So, who goes to fight? Now, this actually is what's confusing. I need my... I need this to participate. Alright, so let's get him. It's like a, a nice little horse a fight on a horse ride, which is cool.
Oh, I did I was gonna happen. See, he wanna swing his fucking sword. Where is he? Where is he? Damn, I lost him. Where is he? I can't find him. Oh, there he is. My face was itching me, so yeah. And there we go, we finished the first section of the fight. Now this section of the fight is going to be a nightmare. Because I always used to fail at this a lot. And I wish I could have found that hard piece in the goddamn tree in the, uh, in the high fail, I think. It's like, I can't find out which tree it is. If anyone's watching this, please let me know which tree it was the hard piece was in. Because I can't remember at the moment. Surprisingly, and for me, I only, only can see it better at night. Which I might do later. So here we go, the big showdown. Boar versus horse. Wood green ogre versus green link. Oh fuck. Oops. And this you actually lose hearts for, so you best not to die. Or do I still have that milk I wonder? Shit, I think I'm dead. If I'm not careful. Would you move, please? Ah, oh, damn it, I missed. I could have knocked him off his horse right there. Come on, turn around. Oh, fuck! Oh, would you move? Move! Damn it! Why do I do it so fucking late? Come on! Oh my lord, are you kidding me? Come on! Oh my god, he keeps doing it too late! React hesterly! Would you please lift up the fucking horse, thank you? Oh, see, he does that shit too late. Oh my lord, are you serious, Link? I keep swinging it, or like two seconds just as I get close to him, he keeps doing it too late. Oh, that was one hit. Fuck. Alright. I thought he would have died right there. That would have been cool. But two hits, apparently. Would you pull back? Pull back. Thank you. There we go. It took fucking forever. Ugh. Great. Why did my... I didn't lose that much hard, so I only, I only fell up twice. Yeah, whatever. That's epic. That's cool and all. Oh, great. More reading. Can we skip this, please? Mm -hmm. Link. Mm -hmm. Is everyone okay? Mm -hmm. You bitch. I really hate you. I hate him. Okay. Good. Beth, I'm sorry, you know, for shoving you. Are you mad? Why would she be mad? You don't who got hung, you idiot. And I meant not by your neck, because that would have been gruesome for Nintendo. I think I finally understand. Understand what? To get how to get killed quicker? I understand what my dad meant. He when he told me I need to be stronger like you, Link. He was talking about strength, like lifting stuff. He was, uh, he wasn't talking about strength, like lifting stuff. He was talking about being brave. You know, they shove you and push you around like a little pussy. I swear, 
Link, you saved me, didn't you? No, I saved you. You son of a... I'm just kidding. You can do anything. You can do something to help the Gorons and the Mime too, can't you, Link? Oh my god, we finally killed Colin! No, I'm just kidding, he's not dead. And now he wants to be all brave, like, hey, I'm gonna love him. Okay. And what's. I love how he's looking back at it, like, oh god, what's he what's so special about Link? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So now we're gonna be heading up to the Goron Mountains, even though I wasted like a good five minutes doing so. I need to add more time to re make this better, you know, because I, I was trying to find that damn heart for like nearly ten minutes. Anyways, but let's see here. Let's just go in here and heal up, because you can go into the spring and heal up. This. Alright, let's go. Actually, I need a few more rupees to buy this shield. Damn. Oh, God. Actually, now that I just reminded myself, I, I just remember easy way to get 50 rupees here so I can get it. So I want to get the shield before I go up in the mountains. And I can at the same time show you the two bugs in the town. <laughs> First things first, you're gonna need this. Then lift these two up. So you can get an extra 50 rupees, so you can actually get the um, a certain item that's gonna be helpful for the next dungeon. You're gonna need this. Yep, this is I thought. And while we're at it, we're gonna get ourselves another bug. Which is right here. We got an ant, which another I know what the second ant is. I think that was the female one I just seen. So see when we get when we get our shield in the second ant, and I guess I'll start climbing the mountain a bit before I end the recording completely. Oh, that was a lag. As long as it interfere my recording, I think I'll be fine. So let's first get the uh, let's first get the shield. So we get the shield first. Yeah, I just spoiled it. We get our highly in shield. Where where is he? Huh? Hey, you you can look. That stuff, but don't do you just take things? That's my valuable mer merchant. Okay, basically, shut up, baby. Just give me your damn no, give me your damn shield. So we have our the next, all right. So there, we got the Hylian shield. We're gonna get one more bug, and then we'll start climbing the mountain a little bit. We're gonna actually do something with him, but you need a certain item to get it first. An item to do it first. Where's that abandoned house? Where's that house? Oh, I think, oh here it is. Come in here. Yep. Okay, if you come in here, and it should be around here. So here we go. Here's the other ant. And let's start climbing the mountain a little bit, just to show off what the Goron boot, the Goron iron boots are meant for. That's a great view. So let's just start climbing a little bit, and I'm gonna end it because we're already at 22 minutes in this recording, and when I edit, it's gonna be trimmed down, cutting out stuff, and you know, this one big section that was but a, a section of nothing. 
But I'm just gonna show off the Iron Boots only on the first go around a bit. We're not gonna go too far in the mountain because, you know, I'm pressed for time and stuff. Alright. Climbing up here, you wanna put these on? Okay, let's do this. Ho, oh, you are back again, human. You will never pass. You cannot hope to match our brute force. Hey, eh, that's what you think, buddy. In three, two, do it! Hey, guy. And there you go. Goodbye. Have fun. And that's the power of the iron boots, even though, in all honesty, I think he'd be dead. But until next time, well, we'll see you guys in the next part. Next time, see you guys.